What baseball icon has more base hits, more RBIs, and more home runs than any other icon in baseball history? Well, it's not a who, it's a what. The Louisville Slugger. And I'm here at the Louisville Slugger factory with Matt Bynum, and he's gonna tell us a little bit about a new series of Louisville Sluggers that are coming out. Now, you guys have been making bats for 128 years. Correct, 1884. Right? And so, what could there possibly be new? I mean, it's just wood, right? In a general sense, you're right. The two species that we make pretty much every professional baseball bat with are ash and sugar maple or hard maple. What are the differences between the new bat and, say, the old bat? The big difference is that the MLB Prime family of wood bats is everything that a professional baseball player would ever want in a Louisville Slugger bat except we are offering that in a retail setting. Everything you would find in an MLB Prime bat is everything we would offer a professional baseball player other than it doesn't have Derek Jeter's name on it. With all of the new technology and all the new materials and everything, why are they still made out of wood? They are made out of wood and they will always be made out of wood because that is what Major League Baseball stipulates as one of their rules. It's very clearly stated in their rules that a baseball bat that is used by a professional player must be made of a single piece of solid wood. This is the Louisville Slugger Museum that we're in right now. Can yes. you tell us a little bit about the history of the company and how Louisville Slugger became a legend? Well, we first started as a wood shop. We made, you know, uh, bed posts, rolling pins. My great, great, great grandfather started it back in, I do believe, 1854. Mm -hmm. uh, his son, Bud Hill, John A. Hiller I, or Bud Hiller as everyone called him, was a uh, amateur baseball player. And as the story goes, he was skipping work one day and uh, went to a game watching Pete Browning play. Pete Browning broke his bat. After the game, uh, Bud went up to him, asked him if he could make him a new bat. They, uh, the story goes, they spent the day making a new bat. The next day, he went uh, three for three. And that's how we started. So I'm gonna put the magic goggles on, and you're gonna give us a little tour about how the bat is actually made. All of our pro bats in MLB Prime, all the wood for it starts right here. This is our sorting area. Uh -huh. uh, basically, a bundle of wood will come in from the from the mills. Then a grader will come in, start grading each individual piece of wood, determining whether it is pro quality or not, weigh it off, and sort it into the different uh, slots. Then our turners will come back here, select wood from each bin, and take it up to the uh, lathe to turn it. This is our Locatelli CNC lathe. Got it from Italy back in 2003. Basically ran as a giant computer. Each program is brought into it as uh, files, and uh, by touch of a couple buttons on the keyboard over there, you can switch from model to model. After bat's turn, it's taken over here to combination. Basically, we start with the sand sanding process. Take a bat, you put it in the sander, and it goes through five different rows of sandpaper. It then comes out the backside where the worker picks it up, cuts off the nubs, the ends are sanded smooth, and then on another machine, we cut the bat if it's required to be cupped. Next, all bats go through a filler process, like on this line here. They're yeah. actually brought back here to be pad printed. That's where the oval is put on in the center of the bat. When the bats are uh, out of the finish area, they come over to our laser engraving area where the bat front brands and the back brands are put on the bat. Oh, okay. They are then uh, paint filled they are then stickered, boxed, and ready to ship out. We have our own MLB Prime bat for you. Just for off-duty? Just for off-duty. Our own Louisville Slugger. Even a Mets fan might be able to hit something with this. <laughs>